Hola, ¿cómo estás? Mia, Mia, mi bello, mi pollos bellos. Hey, how's everybody doing? This is TD Bricks. I hope you are enjoying your morning or your evening or whatever time of the day you're watching this video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this Lego kayak. It took me several tries to get this the way I wanted to. It fits any Lego minifigure that you wish. However, you do kind of have to decapitate it. Actually, no, decapitating is cutting the head off. Whatever the term is for cutting off the legs of somebody, you're going to hear me talking plenty more in this video, so I might as well not uh, waste all my breath. Let's get right into this video. Let's begin. So I'm going to take this thing apart just to let you know before I demonstrate this, do not do this at home. And there we go. So to begin, you will need a 2x2 two two plate. Ah, crap, it will not focus. Thank you, $1,000 camera. So here's a 2x2 two two plate right in front of me. This is going to be kind of like the foundation of the boat. So what we're going to do on top of this 2x2 two two plate, we're going to place a total of four 1x1 one one bricks with the studs on the side, aka snot bricks, but I don't like to use that term because it encourages the viewer to begin violently blowing air out of his or her nose. And we can see how I specifically did this. They're just facing in opposite directions, two different sets facing north and south, east or west. So the next part I'm going to grab out is a somewhat uncommon piece. This is a slope piece. It's 10 studs in length and one stud in width. I'm using sand green, which is, ooh, he's using sand green. This kid is a cool kid. He takes his job seriously. Yes, I do take my job seriously. So you're going to need four of these slope pieces. So one, two, three, and four. We're going to make two different assemblies out of these. I'm going to grab the first half. I'm going to place these side by side and we're going to connect this together with a 1x4 tile. And this is what the side of the boat's going to be made out of. Now I'm going to set these two assemblies to the side. We're going to create another part of the boat. So I'm going to grab a 1x8 brick and a 1x1 brick. I'm going to place those side by side to basically just create a 1x9 brick, but LEGO doesn't make those unfortunately. What I'm going to do from there is I'm going to place a 1x3 plate and a 1x3 tile. So the tile is going to go at one end just like that. And right beneath that, parallel to it, I'm going to place my 1x3 plate if that makes sense. And our assembly is complete. We're going to make an assembly very similar to that, but we're going to add a little bit of a twist to it. So instead of a 1x8 brick, I'm going to use a 1x6 brick and instead of one 1x1 one one bricks I'm going to actually use two 1x1 bricks and I'm going to use a 1x1 one one brick with the stud on the side also known as a snot brick once again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sandwich my 1x1 one one snot brick in between a 1x1 one one brick and a 1x6 one brick and finally at this very end of the assembly, I'm going to place my 1x1 one one brick, kind of like that. So hopefully you're following along and this is making sense. So I'm going to get a 1x3 plate and a 1x3 tile. Just connect things together a little bit better. And on the bottom, I'm going to place my plate. So on this exposed stud right here, I'm going to place a 2x2 two two disc. So in my case, I'm using a transparent orange 2x2 two two disc piece. So we're going to place it on just like that. And we've got a nearly identical assembly to this one right here. So now I think it's about time that we tie things together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick and choose any one of these two assemblies here. I'm just going to pick this one because I think this one looks cooler. So this one, I'm going to connect these two identical assemblies onto each other. So I'm going to connect this together. Now we have our boat partially complete. You can kind of see how things are coming together already. I'm going to get my other assembly, the first assembly that we worked on in this video, and I'm going to place it on just like that. And that also gives us some more space to connect the second half of our boat. We just have a few final features that we're going to add. So we're going to place a 1x2 plate on this side here, the, the side nearest to the 2x2 two two disc, and on this other um, exposed side we're going to place a 2x2 two two tile, as you can see I have here. So we have an impressive looking 
scene going on here. It looks like we have an intense person who takes his job seriously, as I do here on YouTube. So now I have somebody to compare myself to. So that was the video. If there was something I forgot to mention, I'm pretty sure I went through everything, but if I didn't, just comment down below and let me know. I would also appreciate your feedback, so leave that down below as well. Be sure to click that subscribe button. It's the red button down below. I'm pretty sure you all know what that is, because I would appreciate your support on this channel. I will see you next time. Thanks for all the patience. Keep on building and keep on being awesome. Thank you.